Welcome to our first lesson of doing a mini painting. This is a four by four canvas, which I bought on Amazon. You can also get them in size three by three and you can get them at your local craft store. Um, you don't have to use a canvas. You could use a little piece of paper. It's entirely up to you. So what we're gonna do today is we're just gonna do a very, very basic um, flower vase. So the very first thing I'm gonna do is, oh, I should tell you what you need. You need some brushes, doesn't matter which kind of brushes. You can use any kind of brushes you want. You do want some that are kind of small for doing detail. Uh, when I work on bigger canvases, I use much bigger brushes, smaller canvases, smaller brushes. And these are the colors that I have chosen, but you can choose any colors you want. So we have dark pink, light pink, green for the stems, some bright blue, white, some light blue, and then some gray. Okay, so those are the different colors, but again, you can use whatever colors you want. So um, let us begin. So the very first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the paint sort of the background, and I'm gonna use white, okay, with a, just a touch of gray in it. Not very much, just a touch. I'm just gonna kind of go over this. Picking up paint as it Kind of soaks into the canvas. I may hear traffic going by because my studio is on a very busy road. So, everybody's out and about today. So I'm just kind of just pushing the paint across in any old way, it doesn't matter. This is just the background. I'm going to add a little bit of water to my brush, just a tiny bit, just to help move the paint around a little bit better. And again, you don't have to paint a background. You could just leave it white. That's completely fine too. I'm noticing that gray is stuck in one spot, so I'm going to try to move it around a little bit with my brush. This is sort of an abstract feel, a little bit more white. And you definitely want to do the sides as well. So when you get a second, go over the sides. This gives it a little bit more of a professional look to it when the sides are painted. And I always have my finger right here, so I always leave a little print right there to go over that. Okay, so once you have that on there, what you wanna do is you wanna let it dry. You can either do it, let it dry naturally, or you can use a hairdryer. So I'm gonna use a hairdryer and I will be right back. And through the magic of television, I am back. All right, so it's nicely dried up, pretty much. So I'm just gonna sketch in a little vase. It doesn't have to be anything perfect. Just kind of going, see what happens here. My artistic ability when it comes to drawing is limited at best. So I'm just doing a basic sort of something that kind of looks like a vase. All right. Now I'm taking my flat brush, but you can use really any brush you want. And I'm gonna use a little bit of gray and a little bit of white. And I'm just gonna sort of bring that in, and paint it in. Around the sides. This is almost like when you paint by numbers and you fill in the little box, same kind of feeling. This brush is not really working for me right now, so I'm gonna put it in the water. I'm gonna get my other brush, it's a little bit smaller, and use that. This one seems to work a little bit better. It's all about trial and error, everybody. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on this right now because I'm gonna come back to it after it kind of dries up. And I'm gonna add in a little bit of shadows and 
Now it's looking more like a pot than a vase, but that's okay, that's okay. Sometimes it starts out one thing and it kind of ends up something else. That's all right. All right, so I'm just gonna kind of let this sit for a little bit and I'll come back to it. I keep saying that and then I keep going, so. All right. All right, now I'm gonna let it sit. So I'm going to dry off, uh, wash off that brush. And I do have a paper towel that I use to dry, dry them off with. So you wanna do that. And we're gonna take our green, just green, simple green, any color green, light green, dark green. And I'm gonna put some stems in, just like that. And they can be long stems, they can be short stems. Doesn't really matter. I'm just kind of flicking my brush up. Oops, sorry about that, guys. Go in a different direction with the stems. I'm bringing the stems down into the vase slash pot, whatever you want to call this thing. And yeah, I think I'm going to stop right there and start adding in my color. So this is where the fun begins. And I'm going to just do my light pink. And very, very easy, simple dab, dab, dabbing it in. Just like that, along the lines of the stems. Don't worry if it picks up a little green. This is sort of a flowy, abstracty um, painting that we're doing here that's not supposed to look perfect. And this is just playing around with the paint and sort of seeing how it comes out. So we're just playing around, dabbing with our little dots every which way, just like that. Picking up more pink as I go through, bring you down. Not really a rhyme or reason to the way that I'm doing it. Just dabbing it in. Sometimes I leave little spaces in between right here. You can see that. Sometimes it's all sort of on top of each other. It doesn't really matter. Sometimes I get a little bit too much paint on the brush. So I drop, take some of the paint off, the extra paint. And just like that. Okay, so that's sort of the background. Or not the background, but the first layer. All right, looks pretty. I'm gonna clean that brush off. So the brush is now cleaned off and I'm going to go in with some darker pink now. Again, just sort of haphazardly dabbing it in. And these kind of remind me a little bit of delphiniums. So I think I'm going to call this my delphinium base pot of flowers.
that one kind of came out a little funny, but I will fix that. These are so fun and simple to do, and it doesn't take up a lot of your time, and you can get one done probably in about 20 to 30 minutes, and they make great gifts. People love them. I sell a lot of these when I do my art shows. I just keep refilling my brush and dabbing in as I go through the different stems. Okay, well that looks really cute. I like the way that looks. So I'm gonna clean out that brush again. And this time I'm gonna add in just a tiny bit of this brighter blue, just to give it a little bit of depth. And you could use any colors you want. You do not have to use this. So I'm just sort of giving it a little bit of a um, adjustment of color, I guess you could say. Sometimes the flowers look have a little bit of blue in them. Sometimes they don't. Whatever pleases your eye. So that looks really, I think that looks really pretty. Um, I am going to add in some white because I think that will add in even more texture and depth. Sometimes when you add in white at this point though, it, it's a little bit hard to see. So just know that. So I'm kind of loading my brush up here and dabbing it in like that. Again, it's sort of haphazard. And as I'm dabbing, I'm also, sometimes my brush is picking up a little bit of the pinks and that's okay. And it's just sort of putting in a little bit more texture and depth with the petals, so to speak. All right, that looks pretty neat. So now I'm going to go back in and I'm going to add in some more green stems. So I'm going to use this brush that I just used and I'm going to bring it up like this. And we're going to add in a little bit more in terms of leaves and things like that. Okay, so we're gonna, in most vases, there's filler, meaning there's flowers, I mean, there's stems, excuse me, that just are leaves. So that's what we're doing here. So I'm just dotting the sides with a little bit of green. This, this brush, this stem, excuse me, is a little thick, but that's okay. Sometimes they're thin, sometimes they're thick. So I'm just dotting along the sides of the stems with my green. And we're almost gonna be done with this. Okay, so this looks good. just back in and add some leaves at the bottom of the vase. Just sort of some green. Gives it a little bit more. Like that. A little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit there. Just kind of dot it around a little bit. You want to be careful at this point though because you can go a little bit too crazy with the green. So you want to make sure that it's pretty balanced out.
gonna put in a little stem right here. There we go. All right, so I think that part is pretty much done. So now what I'm gonna do is the very final thing is go back in and add a little bit of white, gray, and just a touch of pink to our base slash pot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just loaded up my brush and I'm just bringing stripes down. It's the only way to describe it is striping it down like that so that it looks like there's a little bit of depth in there. So that this is, looks like a pot you buy in the store or a vase. So it's just kind of streaking it down like that. And you can sort of fill in the areas that you messed up earlier like I did. And there we have it. Okay. So you saw how long that took. Not very long at all. Super easy to do. Very cute. And um, they make great gifts, as I said. So I hope this was fun and enjoyable. And thank you so much. Happy painting.